Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have an anatomy lesson to share with you today. We're using this book by Charles Kovacs called Muscles and Bones and we are using it for our Waldorf main lesson block on anatomy. We're up to the physiology section of this book and the chapter on liver and kidneys. I also have a couple other resources that we're using for this lesson. We have the Human Body Atlas, and this is the section on the liver, which we're going to be using for content as well as illustration inspiration. We also have the Welcome to the Museum series, the anatomy book, and there is also a section here on the liver, which we're also going to be using as illustration inspiration and for content. So I'm using three different books for this lesson. We're using our main lesson books by A Child's Dream. These measure nine and a half inches by 12 inches. They have blank pages separated by an onion skin. And while these are mainly used for younger students, I do like using them because they are larger and I do prefer the blank pages over the books that have line pages and blank pages. The way that we approach our main lessons is that we will do the new learning or the new lesson. In this case, it's reading a chapter out of the book Muscles and Bones. And then in the following days, we will do the main lesson book work, which includes an illustration and a written portion. There are a couple of different ways that you can do this lesson with your students. You can either do an illustration on the chalkboard, especially if you're working with multiple students. This works very well. If you're working with a smaller group of students doing something in the same format as they are going to be doing, so working in a main lesson book since they are working in a main lesson book tends to be a good option as well. And lastly, you can always offer an illustration out of a book for your students to copy, which I have done in the past when I was homeschooling multiple students and I did not have time to do an illustration with each of the lessons. I would offer usually one of the books that we were reading as illustration inspiration and they could write their illustration based on the book and then write an original narration. Sometimes writing a narration for myself helps me prepare for the lesson if I am doing this in advance of presenting the lesson. Other times this helps me understand the content so that as it comes up in later lessons I am well versed in the content and I can deliver those lessons more easily and reflect upon them since I have collected my notes as well. This also helps for a unit like this where there are a lot of anatomical facts and details as well as holistic and spiritual aspects to this lesson and having an opportunity to reflect on them myself as a teacher has been really helpful in presenting these lessons. Typically we will do our new learning and in the following days, we will write up the lesson content and the illustration into our main lesson books. Once our main lesson is in full swing, we tend to get behind on main lesson book work, and we don't typically have a single entry for every lesson that we do. So we are up to about 35 lessons at this point in our main lesson block but we have about 20 entries in our main lesson book. And this is appropriate since our main lesson book work can include various lessons together, which includes one narration and one illustration for maybe two or three lessons. And this occurs many times with our main lesson blocks. And so we're not going to have a single entry for every lesson. And many lessons do have overlapping information and our main lesson book work tends to take much longer than the new lesson itself. So here's a final look at the lesson with our illustration as well as our written content. I hope that you'll check out the blog post that accompanies this video that has more information on our Waldorf Anatomy main lesson block, as well as resources and links to other video tutorials you can find the link to that blog post in the description box below. And if you'd like to see how we're homeschooling on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram and now on TikTok at Pepper and Pine.